This is an image of a feminist in the 19th century. And this is a clip of a feminist in 2017. My name is Candace Owens, and you are watching my vlog series, The Myth of the Coon. People say to me all the time, Candace, how dare you say that you're not a feminist? Don't you understand what the woman that came before you had to go through so that you could have the rights that you do today? Actually, yes I do, which is exactly why I don't subscribe to modern feminism. When the first wave of the women's movement began, women were getting arrested and starving themselves while being held in prison, all because they didn't have the right to vote. The women's movement was rooted in real legal issues like suffrage, a systematic form of government oppression. Fast forward to 2017, where girls were organizing marches because they didn't get what they wanted. They were with her, not him. <sighs> That's right. Women today are boycotting the results of a free and fair election that they were allowed to vote in. I mean, was there anything more cringeworthy than the election images of women dropping their I'm with her pins on Susan B. Anthony's grave? As if there could be anything more disrespectful to her legacy. Every last single one of these women should have been fined for litter. Double fine if you went out and purchased Hillary's BS cry for legitimacy of a book entitled what happened? Which would have been more appropriately titled, It Wasn't Me. I don't know what to do. But Hillary, who caught you on the counter? What happened? You lost the election, Hillary, because you were out of touch enough to think that throwing a Beyonce and Katy Perry concert was a more meaningful use of your political dollars and actually meeting and speaking with the suffering citizens of this country. What happened? I don't know. Maybe America wasn't as stupid as George Soros thought. What happened? Donald Trump did. But Candace, feminism is for everybody. Nope. Feminism is for people that think sticking your head in a hat shaped like a vagina deems you an intellectual. You guys are proud of a pussy hat. A pussy hat. A pussy hat. <laughs> Want to give in to every stereotype of women being whiny and less educated than their male counterparts? Join the movement. There you can argue about fake issues like the wage gap and make funny faces like, huh? When somebody suggests that you maybe get a job outside of fashion if you want to make as much as somebody who works for Goldman Sachs. Huh? No, but seriously. If you guys want to play a fun game and next time a woman talks to you about the wage gap, ask her what IBIDA stands for. It's absolutely amazing. Are you a woman that doesn't like that we don't get six months of maternity leave and we're postpartum? Might I suggest you launch your own company, hire only women, and implement that exact policy? Let me know how fast capitalism punches you in the face. I was absolutely shocked to read an article recently which claimed that feminists are having a hard time finding men that want to settle down with them because they're too strong and educated. Do you mean to tell me that if I refuse to cook, clean, shave my legs, plus constantly portray myself as a victim, the theory of Darwinism might take me out in the end? <gasps> News flash! Everybody hates feminism. Women, men, literally everyone except for Lena Dunham, who is still grappling to come to terms with how it's possible that having a vagina doesn't earn you a Willy Wonka golden ticket into the White House. I'd like to wrap this rant up with a message to all of the beta males who have allowed this era of radical feminism to strip them of their masculinity. Like this guy. Yes, you do, sweetheart. Anna. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you want to help keep me going, please consider donating to my patreon.com account. The link is below. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching all of my videos. Um, the response has been absolutely amazing and I am so grateful.